not allowing water to evaporate, causing dryness. You can order them at CapriMD.com. That's CapriMD.com. These products work. Welcome back, everybody. It is the PM Show with Larry and Nancy Minetti. I didn't mean to step on your toes there, Frankie. Uh, Larry and Nancy Minetti in the show with us today. And on the line, Dan Loria, of course, uh, consummate actor, star of many things on TV, stage and screen. And, uh, Dan, we're poised to have you on the line today with us. Oh. You there? Yeah, we're here, buddy. You could take a bow. (laughs) (laughs) So we were talking about Vince Lombardi and... Yeah, you're just about to go into a story there, Dan, about Vince Lombardi. Yeah. Uh, there was a young director a few years ago who I helped out with a project. You know, I was uh, I was out here in L.A. and he needed an apartment in New York. I gave him my apartment and I helped him and his group with a play they were doing. It was called In the Heights and it ended up winning Best Play. Well, after everybody uh, rejected me as Lombardi, who did they hire to direct Lombardi with this director? And hmm. Tom Taylor, and Tom Taylor insisted on having me, and oh. uh, and then he insisted when they said no. He said, "Well, let him read it. He'll read it with no uh, obligation that you got to hire him for the NFL." And then uh, the NFL said, "If I didn't do it, they weren't going to get behind it." So that kind of locked it in. Wow! Wow, that's a coup. Cool... Yeah. Well. You know, you only hear you only see the bad stories about our business. You never hear the good stories, you know. Well, the good young director who you know stuck with his friend. You know, oddly enough, that's why we're doing the show and have guys on like you, so we can get the nitty gritty. Absolutely, and that's good nitty gritty. No, Larry, isn't it funny? You know, our business, like every other business, fifteen percent of the people I work with are total jerks. Eighty-five percent are great people. People like you know, like Joe Montaigne. Wonderful people care about their art. Right. And the only difference is in our business, we keep promoting the 15%. Well, you know, you have to remember something, and I don't know if the world knows, but they are going to know right now. The guys that run this business, they call them the suits. These are morons. These are guys. <laughs> these are guys that are got Coke bottle glasses, and they come out of IBM, and they come out of these schools, and they put a suit and a tie on. They walk through a studio, and they say, "Oh, I'm a studio executive," and then they go on a set and they start to tell people what to do. These are really, and it starts with a J, offs, yeah. and. The the bottom line is, and I could really vamp about this, is they screw this business up. The days when we had Jack Warner, uh, the guys that ran the studios, Wasserman Wasserman and all of them, that's when these studios hummed in. That's why they made great movies, because this was an art. Yeah, and uh, that was because their name was on everything. You know, anything came out of Warner Brothers? Yeah, but they they had... Now you don't know who the hell's doing anything. It's some corporate... Some jerk, yeah, some idiot that thinks walks in with his suspenders and says, "Hey, I'm in a movie business. <laughs> yeah, move this." And that will be the end of Larry's career. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, but I'm sick of it. I really am. Robert Blake, who's a, a name out there, that and his great line is, "I'm so busted, I can't afford spats for a parrot." Uh, I mean, he he can go on and on about the suits, and a lot of people, Carol Burnett included. Carol Burnett's not on the air because she can't stand them. I know Nancy told me to calm down. I'll take a volume. It's your <laughs> show. Go, Dan. Well, you know, I, I got a few good people on work. I mean, Peter Roth, the head over at uh, Warner Brothers, he's from the old school. You know, he's been around a long time. And uh, he didn't even have any audition for Sullivan and Son. But he's one of those guys who's still... Believes in telling a story, you know. He's he's one of those Cannell guys. Yeah, I Cannell, mean, Cannell was very, very, very wonderful. Sure, you know that. He, these yeah. guys really did, and their name was on everything. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And I mean, they, you're talking, you're talking true movie makers. Yeah. You know, I don't know who. I don't even have a clue who runs Universal Studios now. I think they, no. they some guy ran it. He made liquor. Another guy, <laughs> another guy ran it, and he made spark plugs. I mean, you know, the, so. And everything is looking the same. Every yeah. movie I see, nine people walk into a room. There's one line, and then every other line is on a talking head. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody That's... has to do a scene for two or three minutes without stopping. 
Yeah. You know, it's, it's too bad. Uh, it's like parakeets on benzedrine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you make too many young kids don't have an attention span. How would you know? You keep feeding them the same thing. You want everything to look like McDonald's and you know, Burger King. So. Yeah, that's right. They, that, that's true. I'm glad, I'm, I'm, glad I'm old, Larry. I'm glad I'm old. I don't know what to tell young kids today when they start. You Dan, know. hang in there, buddy. Hang in, Dan. Dan, we're going to go to a quick break. When we come back, we have a caller. Gary wants to ask you a question uh, throughout your career and, and some interesting okay. stuff there. So hang in there, Dan, for us. Thanks, buddy. Hey, when we come back, guys, your call is 800-336-2225. 800-336-2225. It's the PM Show with Larry and Nancy Minetti. We'll be back right after this.